Father, Jasmine and I want to come together in prayer with our uh, sister to thank you for the opportunity to have our sins forgiven. And as the world celebrates Easter and has a special recognition for Jesus dying and raising again from the dead, we're grateful that when we do come to really appreciate what that means, that Easter is really every day. And every day we can celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus by simply having a relationship with you, by, by being able to ask you directly for forgiveness of our sins. Thank you that we don't have to go to a temple anymore and go to a priest and, and have a priest intercede for us, but Jesus is our high priest. He is forever the intercessor we need between us uh, and you. And we're so grateful for that, God, and we're grateful for the Holy Spirit that is a deposit guaranteeing what's to come that's living in us. God, I just lift this prayer up, thanking you for the opportunity to be born again and thanking you for helping me see what it meant to be born again. That when, when Nicodemus was asking the questions, wait, but how can someone be born again? That you helped, you helped me understand what that meant, that I could be born again in the waters of baptism, that it wasn't just a, an act, but it was really, uh, that plus my faith allowed my sins to be forgiven and I was made new. And I'm so thankful for that, God. And for so many people who've taken that, uh, taken you up on that opportunity. And for those who, who haven't yet, Father, we pray for their eyes and their hearts and their minds to be open to see what awaits them. God in heaven, we thank you for being a God of great mercy and compassion and grace and love. And we just think of Jesus as we prepare for Easter, not only his death, but his resurrection. Um, yeah. We thank you for the life that Jesus lived, how he was perfect and sinless, and the ultimate atonement for our souls. We thank you that Jesus lived a life that we can relate to and yeah. that we can understand. We do not have a God and a creator who does not understand our needs and our suffering and our heartaches and our sorrows and our pains and our joys and our celebrations and rejoicings. And we thank you for Jesus and how he went to the cross to die for our sins, was buried for three days, and then rose again yeah. and defeated death, Amen. defeated sin. And we get to live in that grace and yeah. that mercy. And without Jesus, we wouldn't be able to have an intimacy and a relationship with you, God, our creator. And we thank you that we have become even the temple. The Holy Spirit, it lives inside of us. Mm -hmm. We get to have a piece of you to comfort us, to guide us, to convict us of our sins, to be with us through challenges and hard times and to rejoice with us. God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for Jesus, for the life that he lived, the death that he died, and the resurrection that he lives now and forever. Mm. And we thank you for the Holy Spirit being inside of us, God. And we can't wait for Jesus to return. Yeah. We can't wait for the yeah. sorrows and pains of this yeah. world to come to an end. So that way we can be with you. So that we can hear you, God, say, well done, insert name here, my good and faithful yes. servant. <laughs> and that's right. God, that's what we all long for. Yeah. We just want to be with you. We thank you for making a way for us through your son, Jesus, and giving the Holy Spirit to be with us on this journey that we have, that we live here on earth, God. We surrender everything to you. We trust you. We believe in you and your goodness. And we want to pray this all in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen.